course you don't hear me. That's the start of the stream. You never hear me at the start of the stream. All by design. Uh, that was uh, Maxine. I asked her to say thank you, Nubby Earwiggles. And uh, that, that was her response. You couldn't hear it, though. She would just giggle and she wouldn't say it. <laughs> they have weird names here. Everybody has weird names. And let's see. So today I was going to go check on progress for a map. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, good. See, we still have some exceptions in there. Oh, hey. Ah. Clear those guys. Uh, Baron. There we go. So it's just Baron's Reach. That's what I thought. Low level Baron's. Stop it. Oh, hold on. Let me get the chat bot up. Uh, chat bot. Yes, let it access the internet. All right, let me see what type of prize I'm going to do tonight. Oh, and uh, let's see. Thank you, Snugsy one. Did you get an artifact yet, Snugsy? Yeah, there's that. That was daughter, daughter giggles. And Arca, are you like impersonating here? I saw there's an Anka 96 follow. What happened? Is that you? And just coming up with extra names so you can get in twice. Almost to legendary. What? On the new ones? Or the, you got to be talking about the old ones? I guess I need to go check the drop rates. Brass knuckles. I have not submitted the uh, elf rooms yet. Uh, I will get those submitted before we do our final patch for this release, but uh, I'm shooting for I'm gonna shoot for Tuesday, which means I'll probably get it in Wednesday build so I can have it for the four day weekend for many people. Uh, Arca says I can't see other people's chats. Troll loot is fixed. Yay, lots of stuff fixed. Uh, let's see. Let me find, uh, before you guys distract me too much. Ooh, Obsidian Tower Village Water Home. What? Uh, let's see. We will start. Let's see. Let's start with uh, something modest here. Thank you very much, Bedonham, and thank you very much, Snugsy1. Uh, e Hondas, testing rewards will probably go out next week. Uh, Burning Toad is out for the whole week. He has his laptop with him, which means he can do work. Uh, but there is zero chance I am going to push him to do any work unless it's an emergency uh, or something catches fire that he knows how to put out, which I guess qualifies as an emergency. Hold on, I'm still shopping around here. Let's start off with a uh, disco ball chandelier. Small one. Just the wee little one. Oh, great. 15 emails. All right. Uh, let me get this in there. Giveaway. Disco ball chandelier. Reset. Yes. Open giveaway. Bam. Okay, now it's live. Now you can spam up everything with the raffle. Uh, but yeah, so the two elf rooms, and I'm only going to try to finish out the two that I have. Uh, those are going in, as always ran into a bunch of problems right at the last minute while trying to get them in there where they wouldn't hook up right and then elves wouldn't path properly pretty much the usual the usual uh, problems hmm. and it is uh it's always the weekend here at the spears house i'm having a mojito and thank you very much in being in news for the resub hmm. so i'm doing a shorter stream today uh, but I had some people request 
that uh, I do one because of uh, cloak concerns. Just so you know, the cloaks. Let's see. Anybody who was on the list for Friday, those people all are gonna get are guaranteed to get cloaked. So you're not pushing anybody off if you get into the top ten. Uh, I think that's kind of would be crappy if I did a last day stream and somebody who gets pushed outside of the top ten or top three or whatever. So right now, Catherine Rose, the amazing Catherine Rose. That's I'm gonna say that in front of everything too. It's the amazing Maxine and the amazing Catherine Rose and T Branch and Sinash Casgall. You guys are definitely getting gold cloaks. I star Strider, John Marcus Canneth, Snugsy One, Winfield Paxlayer, Lord British Rules is not getting a cloak, and uh, Pipster. You guys are all getting silver cloaks for sure. Uh, but let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm in Baron's Reach now. All right, I like it. Looks like it runs 60. At least it's run 60 on my end. I never really watch what the stream looks like. Looks like it's pretty, pretty much on target. Welcome to Baron's Reach. Oh, am I having the thing again? I may be in need of a restart of uh, the game now. I'm on 1002, but I played a ton this weekend. Not, sadly, not played. I debugged a ton this weekend. And actually, I'm starting to think I may be having a video card overheating problem. With the new video card, which would suck. Alright, so let's see what they've got going on here. So it looks like... Uh, Nice. Sorry, you got some people occupying. That's good. Yeah, this is uh, one of the popular things to do is use the townhomes as the walls. Except now, uh, oh, did that actually go live or not? I forget. Or do they have the, t the walls behind them here? I'm going to have to do the uh, slew thing. Oh, no, they've got the walls behind them. I was going to say now that they can do the empty lots. Uh, all those plans with the... The uh, row lot homes as uh, the wall. People can shoot holes in your wall. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm guessing they are appreciating the uh, slew command. And uh, for those who didn't know, you can also do, you should be able to do fly now in, in the latest template. Latest template, in the latest uh, patch. Empty lots still aren't a thing. Okay, well, uh, that's a Burning Toad one, which, again, I would smack him, but he's on vacation right now, and he's also awesome. So we will try and get those out. Again, uh, should just be the simplest thing, just add an empty lot. I'll see with him if I can do it, because I know, actually know how to do that. Hey, thank you very much, I Star Strider, and happy weekend to you. Oh, and uh, thank you, Dulane, for the raid, 14-person raid there. Uh, Dulane, you will be happy to hear this news. I don't think I mentioned this when I did the uh, Friday stream. Uh, thank you, Snugsy1. Did a, a pet artifact just drop for you? Uh, Dulane, when we were doing the uh, the Unity, when I was doing the Unity talk, again, which was me buying them beer and uh, yelling at them for two hours straight, uh, The I pulled up. They, they clearly didn't know what the game was or have any idea. Like they were like, so did you guys ship? Is, is this a finished title and is it mobile or is it, uh, what kind of game? So that kind of tells you love. But again, they swap out. This is, they've done this like four or five times and every time they come to see us, it's a three new sets of people, like three new people in there. And it's always a manager, one engineer, and a pushy sales guy trying to upsell us on stuff. Uh, but anyway, so I pulled up while we were sitting there drinking. I pulled up uh, Twitch, and fortunately, there are like ten different streamers on Twitch. Uh, but you were on there, Delane, and uh, looked like you were doing something cool. So I pulled up your stream on my iPad while we were sitting there talking, and they all did the 
is that your game? That looks really good. It's like, yeah. And they're like, they're, so there's people playing it. It's not closed. And it's like, yes. <laughs> and they had to go into the whole, like, we've just passed 11 million hours played. We, we uh, have a weird release model. We know we're not perfect. But we sure try. Uh, but anyway, so, Delane, you made a good impression on there watching you. You're doing some uh, deco stuff. You're doing the borderline exploiting, building the Tower of Stones and putting the planting bed on top of it and trying to line those things just right. It's not really an exploit. I mean, we set the rules and we kind of knew what people would do with them, so. Cheers to uh, Mishakal. Thank you very much. Oh, I got some mint in that one. Immediately stuck to the top of my mouth. Weird feeling. Let's see. The consumable list I expect. The player named is the player given items. Or the number indicates is total consumed by all players. Uh, yeah, we actually... It's funny you mentioned that. That's the... Uh, I pulled it up with uh, Bobby there. And that's we were checking the consumables, and it was the same thing. It's like, what? That Michael Dragon Breath used 13,000 garlic in the last 24 hours? That's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, that is very... That's very confusing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how many... We, maybe if we added another column where it was garlic total consumed, and then most consumed by... Let's see. It looks like famines. You are winning on fishing. That's the important thing is to find out is, is that. No, let's check the actual fishing. Let's see. Sort by. Oh, looks like uh, Irish eyes. You caught the biggest one. And yes, this is also just as confusing. My chat is showing. Oh, my goodness. Close call. I don't think anything showed up up there. Yeah, only one sail fin or fish, one bluefin tuna, one small swordfish, no big sharks. 90 mahi mahis, wow. Him's why you're winning. But yes, it is very confusing how it is. It shows you that one number and then it shows you the largest caught bag, but that's not everybody, so yes. Already known. He's going to try to improve that. Let's see. Do, 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 do. About them shiny crown things again. Yeah, it's the uh, start of a new month here. I'll, I guess I better be getting some more out to you guys. Didn't build it with a command, a lot of surveying. Well, you should use the command, man. Uh, that was uh, Valis telling, speaking to the zone. And yes, Dulane, I will get you some uh, crowns here shortly. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sagewise approves of Irish Eyes' fish size. Let's see, who killed the most destroyers? Is it, do we have what? I don't even know what stats he's put up there. I'm hoping he's going to get like two or three new stats per release. Uh, of course, everybody's fighting for the kill to death ratio stuff up here. I would be fighting for the who died the most. He can. He can die the most in the last 24 hours. That's 26 deaths. That's more than a death an hour. Uh, let's see. Uh, but I can go pull up uh, some destroyer stats here. Hold on, let me go look. I'll have to find the exact search foo for it. Give me a minute. Hmm. Oh, Vina doing a. Uh, Fishing contest right now, eh? 
Let's see. Let me do a star destroyer star and see if that actually works. Defo cult number one. Uh, yeah, not sure. We will find out shortly, though. Yeah, looks like that'll work. Oh no, that's showing tamed. How about uh, space not tamed star? See if I can find it down to the. There we go. Monster killed by player. Ah, you guys can't see what I'm doing here, but I just mistyped, and anytime I mistype and then I hit search, and then it sits there for a minute. And in all caps, obviously. Hold on. Looks like there were 144,000 uh, creatures killed in the last 24 hours. As far as destroyers... Wow, you guys are uh, going to town on the destroyers there. 800 destroyers killed in the last 24 hours alone. All right, let me see if I can make a uh, chart out of this guy. I'm gonna sort that on player name. If I can get a chart, I might be able to actually show you guys what it looks like. Hold on, wait for it. Account, and then x-axis, terms, and then terms is player name. I say player name. Oh, come on. Don't index on player name. Are you kidding me? All right, let me try this one. Hold on one second. I know this is great stream quality material here. Uh, I may not be able to get you a chart because whoever wrote this thing. Oh wait, maybe if I do, is killer indexed? Maybe killer's indexed. Aha! Killer! Got it! Oh my god, Devil Cult. What are you doing to the destroyer population? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me do the wacky scale-up stuff here. I didn't even know they spawned that fast. I was kind of assuming they spawned slower. Let's see. Uh, let me uh, share this thing here. And then you guys can see the numbers. Here's This will be the top 25 people. Capture, window capture, got it. Uh, snip. Got it. Hold on. Snipping tool. What are you doing to my uh, destroyers there, Devil Cult? <laughs> I probably won't slow down the spawns. I'd planned on slowing down, cutting the drop rate of the, the taming artifacts in half in the next patch. Now I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, just because I always try to make sure they drop more early on, so. Kill them while they're hot. No. <laughs> Come on, Snugsy one, you got yours. Uh, scammer on good game. So the drop rates form are actually set for the common. Each one of the common are common versions of the artifact. There are six of them. 
the drop rate is actually 5%. So 1 in 20 will drop, has a chance to drop one of them. So that means that it's actually more like 1 in 3 that you kill will drop a common taming artifact. Because there's, you know, six different taming artifacts that they could drop. And each one of those has a 1 in 20 chance of dropping. Uh, so there's, again, there's a 6% chance or a, uh, a pretty good chance, a 1 in 3 chance that it will drop a taming artifact. That's way, way higher than what I normally would have it. Uh, I actually put that out there just because, again, the changes that I've made to the artifacts so that those are tiered. So I figured if I overpopulated it a little bit with the taming stuff, with the taming artifacts, well, one Snugs will throw 100 bits at me. There's got to be some stream lag going on here. Uh, and then two, uh, you guys could take advantage of the tiered stuff and build them up a little bit because uh, still, I think I did, had done the math, it'll take like 1,200 kills from a single person to, on average, get a legendary. So, <laughs> thank you, Snugs. Uh, brass knuckles, so yeah, getting three in one drop. That again, that that's the rate that it's at. So that that was never intended to stay that high. I did want to get a bunch out there for those who are out there hunting them, so you guys could start building some tiered up versions. So now I'll, I'll turn them down to what I was expecting them to be at, uh, which is pretty much probably half what they are right now. So not like I'm cutting them by ten or anything like that. <laughs> so you pick the right time to go farm them, Devil Cult. Uh, let's see. Oops, let me get back over here. Farm all night, all day, all night. Uh, with, our Burning Toad is out of town, as I mentioned, so that may delay the next patch. And uh, either I'll do the next patch, probably, or uh, Lord Subtleton will do the next patch. Do 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 do. Da -na 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 -da -da. This is coming along nicely. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a ton of space in here. I can't believe how much was enclosed. Uh, castle wall stuff enclosed. Uh oh, wait, hold on. Look. Street's a little crooked. Pick it all up and start over. <laughs> Uh, Submarine Mike, did you all mean to make the dragonfly wings to look like bananas when hung on a wall? No? <laughs> I have no idea what they look like when you hang them on a wall. Uh, so the Dolus Hoods, again, that's one of the things I've had people asking me, like, asking, yelling at me to go and convert their favorite artifact. And that's people were asking about the, uh, there's the town owner running around, surprised not slewing or flying, but, uh, but yeah, so the, the hoods are one of the things that people have requested that I convert them. Uh, so maybe we'll see. I just gotta make sure I don't break them in terms of uh, patterns and stuff like that, but I know you guys mostly use them for patterns. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, got some nice big trees. Is that a person up on the ledge? Oh, it's a statue. No, no, it's a little woman's bust. Archaic boy. Hey, John Marcus, thank you very much. Why are you still awake? Yes, yeah, already getting some good details in here, too. Oh, 7 a.m. Well, that's why you're awake. You got to go to work. It's Monday. Oh, it looks like they're having a gust ball event in two hours. I guess we didn't break it too much. Has anyone tried the gust ball stuff? I sure haven't. And yeah, I'm showing this space off because they uh, tore this down. Thank you very much, John Marcus. They tore this space down and they're rebuilding it starting this release. Uh, 
and trying to actually build with the plan. And just like, again, that's one of the things we always talk about, at least Travis and I do. And yeah, thank you, Prison Bound. Guess we're not resub time, or everybody's going to be resubbing. Uh, but uh, as we always say, you know, when we're talking about levels, is like you can tell how late a level was built in terms of from the start of the project to the end just by how good it is because the levels get better and better just because we know what mistakes we've made and we know how to not make them again and we've got you know we've kind of got a bag of tricks of things that we know we can do and pieces we know to use and we can always continue to you know that bag of tricks expands and we can always so we you know every time we'll do the next one a little bit better well the same thing is probably true for you guys as well with you guys building your own content building your towns and all this stuff i'm sure tearing down a town and rebuilding it is going to be a much better experience uh knowing what things were uh were bad in the old one these mossy walls interesting again a lot of the stuff i never get to see just because I don't get out to do that content. Oh, got a little spot back here. I'm gonna hide. Gonna play hide and see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm sure these uh, each town. If you do a rebuild, uh, this is the first big one I've heard about. I'm sure others have been done though. But again, you start figuring things out. Let's see. The Trasks. Nice, cool. Fenris McRath. That would be another name that Maxine would giggle at if I told her to uh, say thank you. Hours and offering coming soon. Trask tempering or uh, tinkering. Uh, Snugsy one has a question. What does taming mastery do? You tell me, mister. Uh, let me look. Taming, tame, mas... Uh, taming mastery. So let's see. So the skill itself, you get 0 .0125 points for every skill level in it. So then that gets used... Uh, and I'm gonna guess it's in the pet in the tame innate tamed pet here we go so I can tell you what that does let's see I'm looking I think all it does is increase the l adventure level of the pet I see absolutely nothing here for what it does Taming mastery. Hold on. Uh, yeah, maybe I have no idea what what that actually does. Let me try a destroyer. Go find a tamed grizzly destroyer. Hold on. Aha. Okay. So taming mastery. Here, let me just, oh, I'll just share my uh, Unity with you guys and you guys can see what it does. You do do do. Uh, let's see, hold on, give me a second while I get my brain together. There we go. All right, so let's look at our good friend, the Grizzly Destroyer. Uh, you guys cannot see what I have there. Okay, there we go. Now let me get this so I can transform. Let me clip. Uh, hold on, hold on. Edit transform. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, so you can see there's the Grizzly Destroyer. 
so the taming mastery, all the this, this is the primary thing that taming mastery does. Is in each one of the animals, it'll have a uh, like their stats are set by formula, and for creatures, stats set most of the things. Uh, so taming mastery, you can see it's used for your strength. So again, you get point oh one two five points uh, in it for every skill point you have in there. So if you have an eighty, you'll have uh, a one. So you can see that one means that it would add an extra eighty strength, an extra fifty dex, uh, and an extra two hundred health. And again, Taming Mastery is not Taming Mastery. That is that is uh, Taming Specialization. Uh, again, we need to go fix that. So yes, Ihanda's Mastery equals Specialization. Is Some people may remember for the, the start of the release when that came out, it was actually called Specialization and just due to confusion between Mastery and all that, you know, uh, I ended up changing it to Specialization. So yes, so Taming Mastery is actually Taming Specialization. I'm guessing this is actually a question because one of the items gives Taming Mastery and it shows the stat as Mastery and I need to go change that to Specialization. Is that what, I, what I'm guessing? Snugsy one. Uh, the other thing you can see here is the, the uh, Grizzly starts with a base level of 99, the Destroyers do. And that is actually the base, and then some numbers get added to that as well uh, by taming skills. Ah, the gloves. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's probably one where I just need to go update the stat, because the stat is probably still in the old one. So let me go look at that. Do, 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 do. There's Taming Mastery. Let me find all references. Hey, look, the stat says Taming Mastery. Taming Specialization Bonus. All right, now people will be 10% less confused. Hold on, submitting that right now. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's never shown in any like stat output before, so it was never obvious that that uh, it hadn't been updated. All right, now we understand. Yeah, I, I mean, I rag on Unity a lot, and I will continue to rag on Unity, but it's, it's again, it's the same, probably the same reason you guys are passionate. Sometimes you guys are passionate about our game, and when I say passionate, you're kind of like, kind of a dick, uh, kind of hostile, uh, but it, again, it's the same thing, that you're you're passionate about it because you care about it a lot. Same thing's true with me and Unity. Uh, I love Unity, but I want it to be better, and I'm sure that's the same thing you guys have going on, that... Uh, you love the game, but you want it to be better, and sometimes that comes out as a little bit of hostility or frustration. So, uh, but anyway, so yeah, if you want to try Unity again, go go learn some uh, Unity. Super easy, tons and tons, like hundreds of tutorials out there, including I've got some tutorials out there, but mine suck. Mine were kind of from a dev's point of view, talking to myself, and they're also like three or four years old, which means they're useless because Unity's changed so much. Hostility isn't a virtue, but sometimes it gets you what you want. Uh, no, they will not give us uh, source code access, at least going through the route that I went through on... Uh, was that Thursday I met with those guys, or Wednesday I met with those guys? I think it was Wednesday I met with them. Oh no, it was Thursday, because we had just done the release. Uh, but uh, yeah, they if there's a salesman present, they're not going to do anything, because they get paid for making sales. Uh, and he was driving the conversation for the most part. But uh, again, it's always a manager who's quiet, brand new, every year, brand new manager. An engineer who may be the only one who has more than a year year's time with uh, Unity. And the uh, engineer is always sympathetic with us and understands. And then a sales guy who's pushy. So anyways, that's kind of the pattern uh, that we have. So 
Uh, let's see. Got any questions on here? I still haven't done the question thing. I've got to pull out the computer. I can't delay that anymore because I have to give the computer to Travis, uh, AKA list on Tuesday. So I will have my question script back and live by Tuesday guarantee. Let's see. Uh, scammer on good game. So the, t I made cloaks for the top 15 streamers just cause I didn't, I figured some of those guys get up there. I was only planning on really giving them out to the top 10. I made them for the top 15. So if those uh, some of those guys in that 11 to 15 range wanted to push a little bit and get up there, they would. But I'll probably just give them out anyways and just... Uh, again, that's giving out the cloaks. And the other things, if you're one of those people, which I can go name them off. Uh, I tried to get them drunk. Didn't work, e Hondas. <sighs> Uh, but I'll gladly give you guys cloaks, and that's I've I've uh, expected feedback on what they'd like their cloak to say, like what they want the description to say, and what they want it to be called, and uh, if they want some stats, I will set the stats. But if you tell me kind of the theme or general type, uh, I'll set it. But I'm gonna be again, it's it'll be in the the neighborhood of. Uh... Hey, John Marcus, thank you very much. Uh, oh, I'll send you one of my new cloaks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dulane, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll give them the cloaks, but not set any of the special stuff on it. And they'll just have the boring name, no description and no stats. <clears throat> so then that'll push them if you want to get cloaks on your stats, but then they can give them out. And if they manage to get their stream into the top 10, cause then they can use that as a sales pitch to people on their stream to like, come watch my stream, come do the stream. Uh, because then that'll be the sales pitches. They can start giving out the cloaks now and they'll have no stats and nothing special about them. But then if they manage to get up into the top 10, then I can go and set stats for them. Then all those guys that he gave cloaks to, those will magically become, uh, magically start having some bonuses. Dulane, agriculture theme. Hmm. Uh, I can figure out something with that. Uh, again, the thing I'm shooting for is kind of making it in the plus five range when you compare like the kind of the base one I set was uh, Famines, who was the first guy to ask for one. Uh, and it's a plus five fishing cloak. And yeah, I think that's uh, after talking it through in front of you guys. We call this a uh, rubber ducky. Uh, the one thing we we were worried about when we were losing our office is because pretty much all the engineers do it. Uh, but, uh, it's really the phenomenon where you, you have a question, you don't know how something's going to work. So you go and try to explain it to somebody else, explain the problem to somebody else. And just that act of explaining, uh, and talking through it makes you realize what you're doing. But, uh, one and only was, was always, uh, doing the rubber ducky thing where he'd come over and ask a question, but he's way smarter than, uh. Uh, than I am, and usually by the time he was done, he would be like, he'd just like shrug and walk back to his desk or whatever, knowing what he was doing. <laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> uh, let's see. All right, let me fly around the town a little bit, and then I'm going to do the giveaway. And I'm going to give out a couple of give giveaways here rapid fire, because I'm going to get off by 6, which means I'll give away the uh, disco ball now. I forgot to do that. Let's take a look and see how things are coming. So, yeah, that's just a wee bit of space there. That's good. You can see he's got the, they're laying out the blocks. They're, you know, planning out the spaces. Pretty sweet. And I'm guessing if you guys want to get in on the town or want to come give some feedback here, talk to that uh, ballast guy there about Baron's Reach. Oh, and it says uh, town me daily message, actually. You guys can't see it. Welcome to Baron's Reach. All the plots are free to claim. Rose City, excuse the mess, currently rebuilding. Visit our uh, community, Discord. We got all the information there. So all you got to do is come to Baron's Reach. And uh, you 
can claim a house. They're still setting stuff up here, but it looks like they got a bunch of stuff already placed and growing by the minute. Vallis is here right now, pumping things up. So come give feedback, come claim a lot, or come claim a house. Looks like a number of people already have here in this opening area, in the entry area. Already getting some people in. Plenty of room left. Come on over. And it's the swamp, walled swamp one. That's one I don't see used that much. I'm surprised more don't use it. A what? And then I hit the microphone too. That's bull crap. Yeah, raffle up. I'm about to go do the uh, draw the raffle. Oh, look. Yeah. See these guys. Oh, you know what? I'm on Bilbo. Bilbo. Bilbo Bikins. That is why I died. That is also why I'm wearing the base clothing. Uh, I wonder if I have any crowns. Do now. I answer these friend requests. And I see my number of emails is growing. Uh, I will get to you guys. Well, I will get to you guys probably not until tomorrow morning. Because my plan for the evening is I've got to go make some dinner. And drink a mojito. And kick my feet up. And relax because it's Sunday. Mojitos and emailing out prizes do not mix. Emailed me in game? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's what a few of these emails are. Oh, but let's do the uh, drawing thing. You guys all drawing uh, raffled up there? Do, do, do. Here we go. Oh, and uh, Cypher, One Black, Daniel JMCL, NBNN News, Mute 209, and Tempshia were one through five. Snugsy one and Cron SC. Sorry, you were six and seven. Not in the top five. Oh, Tazar just got in at the last minute there. Slacker. Tazar, have you used the, uh, the slew yet? Are you slewing it up or flying it up? Uh, let's see. Okay. Surely you guys have all got in. Sunday, play soda. I play soda six days a week. Cool, Tazar. Sorry that was so long in the making. And uh, yes, there are still a couple more encounter rooms coming for this release. Uh, just as always, later than expected on so many things. Uh, and... Uh, having a vacation and then coming back sick from my vacation did not help much. Let's see. Dulane, can we get uh, Slew to work as a house decorator than our boundary lots? Uh, maybe. That's one of the things I've been looking at is getting some better limits on stuff like that. Again, as you guys probably, if you saw in the uh, the forums and the screenshot threads, the, I think I mentioned, I was like, I kind of want to do a slew, but have a distance cap on it. Uh, hey, it looks like you might have a customer coming here to claim a, claim a house. Uh, but anyways, then I was like, I kind of want to do that just because if not, people are going to fly outside the skybox and do weird stuff. So, of course, the first screenshots that go up in the... Uh, the forums for the screenshots for this release are all uh, people flying outside the skybox and under the world and doing stuff like that and posting screenshots of it. So as long as you're having fun. Oh, and thank you, Prentice Brooks and Falcon Vapor. And make sure you guys raffle up, you guys, because I'm sure it's two totally different people, right? Right? <laughs> come on get in there come on you two new people uh, 
And then I'm going to do a drawing, and then basically 10 minutes from now, I'll do another drawing. And I'll make the second drawing for something fun, because it's the end of the month. Monty, the DJ you just now got in? Ah, slacker. All right, let's see. You can move objects while in slew. Is that intentional? Holy crap. No, that's that was not intentional. Uh... Uh, that is not intentional. If it works and it's not causing any problems, then maybe that's cool because you can move and you can do your town deco stuff while you're flying and stuff. So, creatively kill people. Well, this sounds like a great new emergent gameplay thing. <laughs> leave it? Okay. We'll leave it. I, uh, uh, not intentional, but again, some of the best features are not intentional. Deco fly much better. Okay, I will be leaving it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the uh, raffling thing now. Uh, closing the giveaway. Let's see. I don't think I have a thing up for it. I'm sure we won't get anybody who gives me lots of bits up here like we normally do. Uh, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Famines! <laughs> Technically, I give famines way, way, way more than he gives me. Uh, but uh, definitely helps out tons of different ways. Oh, what? Oh, this is bull crap. Oh, wait, I can set that. Set level me... Adventure 100, is that it? Oh. Set level. Bilbo. There we go. How about now? Can I do it now? Send mail now? There we go. Famines. Let me get you a disco ball. Macho, macho man. Got the 70s themed stuff going in my head. 1977 disco ball. Looks like I already bought one. Grats to famines. Okay, now we got to pick something for the second one here. Uh, unless my uh, Twitch updates are going nuts, uh, the amazing Catherine Rose came on yesterday and, and gave a bunch of bits, like 180 or something like that, or 18,000 or something like that. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty generous. So I think... Let me go see, are there any new homes? Those are big ones. I kind of want, maybe I'll do the, uh, just that one that's on sale. That guy. What do you think? Yeah, now you're going to raffle up. Hold on, I haven't actually opened it yet. Village. I think I will. This guy's on sale. Bam. Go buy it. Uh, now I can turn on the raffle. And that is the uh, Obsidian Tower Village Water Home. Okay, now you can raffle up. Tazar, you, sir, number one. Oh, Catherine Rose, you are here. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Didn't even know if you were here, but you're number two behind Tazar. Red Hammer 04, Henry Tarling, and Famines. Uh, you guys are the top five. U235, Sentinel, A Night Owl 01. Uh, you guys just missed out, sorry. You are losers. And Catherine, I vaguely remember you being in the Syndicate. Uh, 
Are you going to, by chance, be in Vegas? Raffle spam, raffle spam. The new cannons to work on Potland. Absolutely, Tazar. All right, Catherine Rose. Well, if you are there, I will see you. And uh, I have no idea what stuff is going on there. They're supposed to get me a list, but I'm going to be, I will be there. I will be giving talks uh, and I will be doing whatever stuff is needed to embarrass myself to the uh, maximum, whether that's karaoke. See, that's the thing. You guys know I don't care about like singing in front of people. So karaoke isn't one of those embarrassing things like it is for uh, Richard or Star. I'm planning on going to the jousting thing, whatever that is, uh, at the Excalibur, I think is the name of the hotel. I'm probably actually going to stay in the Luxor, which is right next door, uh, just because I've stayed there four or five times before in the past. And they also have the best uh, gambling. They have the best uh, poker cycle because they have it at, like, at Excalibur, which is the King Arthur-themed, castle-themed one, and then it's Luxor, and then it moves down to the uh, Mandalay Bay. So you can buy in at one uh, poker tournament. If you get knocked out, you can immediately go over to the next one. If you get knocked out, you can go to the next one. It's kind of nice, and it's crazy, crazy cheap. Uh, but yeah, the Excalibur is the; those are three are all related, and it's like Mandalay Bay is the expensive one, Luxor is the the medium one, and then Excalibur is the cheap one. As I refer to it, if you go walk through, no offense if you're a fan of the Excalibur, but I refer to it as white trash in King Arthur's court. <laughs> Not because it's poor people, but because it is, uh, it's pretty it's trashy. It could use some updates. You do, 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 do. Let's see. Naked karaoke. Uh, no, that would probably take uh, quite a bit of drinking before that could happen. <laughs> Let's see if I miss any other questions in there. And uh, get those, please. Half constructed ships as deco, like I've seen in some NPC towns. Oh, that that'd be cool. That yeah, that'd be a neat one for you guys to have as a deco. Hey, thank you very much, Fenris McRath. I've learned that sometimes when people give these like weird numbers of bits, it's because they uh, they earn bits from watching commercials. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, Antrax, I did not see that. Uh, I would love to get a link to that if you want to message me that, or I'll try to remember to go look at it. Uh, but again, I'm planning on having two mojitos tonight, so I may not remember this uh, conversation in the morning. Taming over whistle is still broken. Uh, Storm 1961. Uh, I am sorry about that, and I will yell it. Well, actually, I went and looked at it. He actually made a check-in for it. So if it's still broken, he made a check-in trying to fix it. And I went and looked at it and saw that he did have the flag for locked that he was checking. So if it's still broken, then there's got to be something else going on. Uh, but we will definitely get that uh, fixed if that is the case. Can anyone else confirm? Snugsy one, can you confirm? Some other taming master out there, can, can you guys confirm? That it is or is not broken. Uh, let's see. And I did get the raffle up. That's going on there. Again, this is a sweet, sweet. Uh, and sometimes super annoying tower. Okay, Croak Wills has done it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and that's. I think it may be working as expected. I think that's uh, Henry Tarling's onto it. It's that's the design is now that if you have it locked, that'll protect it from being overwritten. So don't lock it. That was kind of the whole idea was people wanted some way to prevent them from overwriting their favorite pets, which has happened a few times. Uh, so that was the wrong fix went in last time, and then it got turned into the right fix, which 
I think the right fix is what people were actually asking for originally. Dulane, the audio slider seemed to be not working again. Uh, yeah. yeah, we we can look at that. Uh, sometimes that's just when we upgrade a Unity version. They change stuff out. Audio is one of the more volatile ones. Uh, next release, we're going to be switching to 2019.1. But uh, anyways, wish us luck. We're going to get a QA build out extra early this release. Let me look at the calendar and see how things are falling this next month. So it looks like release is three weeks from the Thursday coming up. So this is a four week release. So maybe we'll try and get one out in the second week of the release so we can start getting some numbers on crash rates. Uh, make sure there's no incompatibilities because in the past they tend to always break one or two big things that we never see. Troll totems seem to show as requiring elf essences again this release. What? All right, I'll go take a look at it. Uh, elf essences. Hmm. Hey, thank you much, very much, cowgirl vampire. That's a fun name. Maxine won't giggle at that one, but I will. Hee 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 hee. Elf totem recipe number one. Okay, well, let me go fix a few of these things here. You guys can all raffle up. Cowgirl vampire, you should definitely follow. Uh, let me see if I can find these stupid cannons that we released. Bold cannon, mushroom cannon, 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 cannon. Soda, bold cannon decos. Is that it, maybe? Aha, I found the bundle that has it in there. There's the actual deco. Let me go down here and see the flags and these things. I always have to refigure this stuff out every time. Can flip, don't allow scale, dungeon piece, walk, and PvP, prevent. We got so many flags in these things. Player town allowed. Okay, I think that should be set now. That's for you, uh, Tazar. For all the support you've uh, given us over the years. Hold on one more. I'm going to set the cannonball stack deco. Player own town. Save project. All right, and then what was that other one that you guys were just worried about? Ooh, Sean Butts, that's a good point. Uh, I forgot we didn't have 64-bit versions. If you look at our patcher and you dig into it, it's actually built on like a really old version of Unity. And we need to update it. Uh, but it was kind of one of those things where it's like, well, why bother? We can just leave it in there. It's not like it needs any resources or anything. Uh, but yeah, the 32-bit stuff isn't going to be supported on uh, Mac for that much longer. Uh, I can probably get uh, Bobby to look into that. I'm trying to remember if there's a good reason we we might be able to move it to 64-bit and leave it on the old version. Uh, of course, it used to be 32-bit because we supported 32-bit, but we killed that support long ago, and we just never updated the client. So it should we should just be able to switch it over to run 64-bit and be done with it, hopefully, and not have to update Unity versions. Uh, let's see. Oh, the elf totem. That's what I was going to look at. The troll totem. Let's see. Troll totem. Troll. Dungeon totem. Troll one. Says troll. Troll, troll, troll. Troll, troll. Troll, troll, troll. 
Looks all trolly to me. So maybe the prefab. So the prefabs still look like liches. I didn't have a good statue. We have some statues, but the statues don't have good LODs. I didn't want to put in this like 15,000 polygon small statue that you guys can put in the scene to crush your performance. So I just left them as uh, the lich because we had good LODs for the lich. Let me check the elf totem and see if it maybe it's backwards and you're really looking at elf totems, not troll totems. Level 1 elf totem. Level 2 elf totem. Level 3 elf totem. Uh, let's check the recipes. Hey, look, the recipes for the elf totems are all wrong. They're all, they all say troll. Okay, so that's what you're seeing. Let me go make sure... That it's also outputting the right thing. Yeah, it's the Elf 1 level 1. Okay, let's see. Let me go check and see if I just missed the other parts of that recipe as well. Okay, so it was saying it would, it was a troll totem, but it took Elf Essences. So that's what it was actually wrong. The name of the recipe was wrong, so it shows up in your book wrong. Uh... But it is actually taking elf essences. So, okay, so that's where the confusion was. It's actually, you were looking at the elf recipe that was misnamed a troll recipe. That is now fixed. Let me save those two changes for you guys for the decos used as pot and the elf recipe stuff. Get that submitted, and then I'm just about to do a uh, drawing for that uh, crazy obsidian thing. Oh, and I missed out on uh, Lirianara. Thank you for the resub. Let's see. Fixes. Two names. And placement stuff. I'm going to have to do this as two change lists because we're, we're in the point where we're doing patches in every... We do the patches when you check into our revision control. Uh, we use the comment from that, so I have to do it as two things. So hold on one second. The elf totem tier one name to say elf, not troll. There's one. Usable as pot deco. There's number two. All right, guys. Let me see if there's any more questions came up there. Do, 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 do. Uh, Dulane, the passives do not help. That's a good idea, though, making that help for the heals. Uh, currently does not help with it, but that is something I could definitely make that, I mean, that kind of makes sense. If I had been thinking about it, that's probably something that I would have done, is make the uh, resistance do some more. So let's say that's how it's going to work, and I'll get that in for a uh, patch. Level 3 totem does not get quantity suffix when stacked. Uh, and I've seen that before, and I don't even know what causes that. That's, like, super weird. And buffs on the wisp. Yeah, the wisp... Yeah, I think the uh, wisp is now the new low man on the totem pole. Phoenix has moved up a little bit. Hey, Taiki Vitre, thank you very much. Let me revert this one thing. Hold on. Uh, so anyways, it is after 6 o'clock and I need to make a little girl some dinner so she can get to bed. Tonight is going to be low-carb pasta with tomatoes from our own garden 
and uh, mix with some feta and some uh, uh, pesto. It's delicious and pretty healthy, except for the pesto, but yeah, just fat. It's not like it's that bad for you. Let's see. So I think I'm pretty close to being done here. Let me send uh, that uh, Dulane guy some crowns since I pimped him out on the uh, Unity guys. Is that right? Did I guess right? Yeah, nailed it. You will be receiving your crowns from Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Leonard Nimoy singing Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. All right. You guys ready for a real drawing here? A welcome doormat. That's a great idea. Why don't we have a welcome doormat? <laughs> all right, you guys all look like you're raffled up. There's a lot of people entered in here. I'm going to guess 124 since that's how many people are on the stream. Oh, and if you are some wacky person who is not a follower, uh, you just have to follow to get in. You don't have to, like, sub or anything like that. Now, if you sub, though, you get these crazy cool icons. Uh, where are they? Oh, here we go. There you go. There's our icons you guys can get. Yeah, pub rules. I like the idea of the uh, the doormat being custom text, but that's that's a bit tougher. Of course, you can always do like the letters on the ground. Uh, I think those guys, the letters can be set on the ground. Lichmister, thank you very much. How are the summons working out for you, Lichmister? Oh, will the chaos tree ever get its own gems and chants? Like every other tree. Uh, still waiting on those. Uh, probably now that we're taking a big pass on crafting stuff and trying to add some more of the in-game crafting stuff and crafting specialization. House of Mangar. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. Uh, trying to think what problems there'd be with doing that and this is making stuff so when you go to when you're doing crafting if the stuff is in your town uh it just automatically gets pulled out so you don't have to go pull it out yourself let me think on it again that's kind of not my section that i i mean i try to stay out of crafting as much as possible and only jump in uh when uh i feel like something really has to change it we're just missing out on a big part uh but i'll bring it up at the meeting adding it to the notes right now Where'd my notes go? Auto withdrawal from bank if in town. All right. I will bring that up. You need a bag that will not let crafting touch the reagents. Oh, because you eat up all the reagents, then you go out adventuring, and then you're like, what? Here, you know what happens when that, or what I do when that happens to me is here, I, I just go, use reagents false. And then look, you don't have to use reagents. It's easy. <laughs> all right. Maybe that doesn't work for you guys. Uh, let's see. House of Mangar, can we have attunements effect or something? Do you know what? I think that, I don't think it does affect it right now. That's super lame, but I don't think that does affect it. I'm trying to remember what attunement does for you for uh, summons. It shouldn't do as much as uh, having like spec or something in, it, in school, but it should definitely do something. 
Uh, all right, hold on. I'm making a note on that. I'll go check that. But yeah, I'm thinking just off the top of my head, I think we did all the summons and then we added attunement, but we didn't really factor that into the other stuff, so... Nada, nada, nope, nada. <laughs> All right, let's do that giveaway thing. Do do close in the giveaway. Bam. Here you guys go. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Dart and obscure. <laughs> So just to be fair, and uh, Darton did, uh, did, oh, was it Gwendolyn? Maybe Gwendolyn won last time. Oh, you know what? I think last time it was Gwendolyn who might have been watching on Darton's account. That was like two or three streams ago. That wasn't like immediately, immediate pass. But again, just more proof. Karma's a thing. Yes, I know they'll keep me here. I will be uh, I will be streaming again tomorrow. Oh, she wanted Maxine to pick her. Okay, well Maxine's out of the room. She's up playing, uh, doing art. Uh, prison bound. No, one bit does not get you anything. Yeah, I probably just need to start showing that thing every single time. Uh, Dark and Obscuro, you can go check your mailbox. You got a pretty sweet water home waiting for you. Uh, all right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day and go make that little girl some food. So she can grow, so she can go on more Disney rides. Uh, which is the reminder that we will be out of town in early August to go to Disney World with her. Our third trip of the year, yes, three trips to Disney World in one year, but it's because we did the, if anybody's been to Disney World, you know, you can like, you can get like a five-day pass to go to Disney World for like $600, or you can get the year pass for $850. So the first time we went, we actually got just all upgraded to the annual passes, and then we just drive the car, use our annual passes, and uh, rent a home away or vrbo or whatever the heck it's called now uh place for like less than 100 bucks a night and have a two bedroom two bath with a full kitchen nothing for disney world nothing for plane tickets it's a nice relaxing 22 hour drive i think maybe 20 hour drive but uh again guys thank you uh end of the month so i will be sending out cloaks in the morning if you're on the list on Friday, you'll definitely get one. I don't think the rankings changed anymore. Uh, so that'll probably be the same. Let me see. Yep, Pipester is the last one. You guys didn't knock Lord British off. I'm not sending Lord British a Atos cloak. Hey, Mangar, uh, I, I might be okay with picking up a beer. Uh, the only reason I might not be okay is because, uh, again, family, family stuff. But uh, I'm the type. Anyone who's come to town knows that I gladly have a beer with anybody. <laughs> All right, I Star Strider, you and Sinagash or or Sinash Kazigal will both get uh, gold cloaks. I said I wouldn't move people down. Good job, though. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for all the generosity. Uh, Thank Catherine Rose for the her generosity, which is why I gave out that hundred and twenty or twelve thousand crown house or whatever that was. Uh, and uh, tomorrow starts a new month, so everybody can be on the board tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I will be streaming tomorrow unless some emergency comes up. And yes, I will get to my stuff tomorrow morning. Uh, Monday morning, I will get to sending out the cloaks for anybody who bought a uh, crown pack during this one. And yes, I do not have... I don't think I set stats on mine yet. 
Uh, so I'll be able to make mine and send them to you, and I'll try and get the stats in for a patch. I'm still thinking about it. It's probably going to be plus two strength, plus two dex, plus two int. Again, Atos, the balance. You guys can't really see my arms. I guess that really looks more like I'm doing an airplane. Oh, my stream is locking up on me. What's going on, stream? Come on, stream. No, oh, that's no good. Looks like the game isn't locking up on me. It's just my stream. Just my stream locking up. I'm not sure what was up with the stream there. My game didn't lock up or slow down or anything. I will have to investigate. But anyways, guys, uh, again, thank you so much. And let me go find someone to raid, and then I'm going to go make some dinner. Let's see. Twitch. Got a Shroud of the Avatar. We got Famines is out there. We got, uh, wait, there's Flare. Oh, there's the fishing contest. I totally forgot about the fishing, con fishing contest. I don't think I've ever seen uh, Flare stream before. We are going to raid Flare. Even though it looks like House of Mangar is probably doing something ten times more interesting. And uh, Tacos and Beer maybe doing something more interesting. But uh, I haven't seen Flare stream before, so I'm going to go raid stream. Or raid, uh, go raid Flare. All right. Uh, ben Canoli, I did. Uh, you can uh, hit up, if you want that that cool house at a discount, you can probably hit up Dark and Obscuro and buy it off of him for some crowns. Captain America, what? Banned. You got the shield? I don't see a shield on Captain America there. He's not, not the real Captain America if he hasn't got the shield. Uh, but again, guys, uh, thank you so much. We're going to go raid Flare. And uh, if you have any problems, as always, you can email me in-game. You can email me in the forums. I usually do run a day or two behind. If you bought something on Friday and I was going to send you a cloak, I will, again, I will get that out to you tomorrow morning. And uh, I think we're just about ready to go raid SDN0. Guys? Have an amazing weekend, and uh, see you tomorrow, and enjoy the game, and I'll try to get a few more of these bugs fixed, and we'll get out another build here shortly, and that's, we will also get a, uh, I will get some more, uh, get the dungeon encounter rooms in for you guys, uh, but uh, again, let's go raid, thanks.